Hello. In this video, we're going to see a practical example on how to determine the minimum order for a Unity Game Butterworth filter to meet a, a specific set of specifications. And uh, I have written specifications down. So the first one is we want a relative attenuation less than or equal to 3 dB for a frequency less than or equal to 500 Hz. That's basically the same as saying we want our cutoff frequency to be 500 Hz. And the uh, second one is we want the relative attenuation to be more than or equal to 23 dB for a frequency that's greater than or equal to 1.5 kilohertz. So in essence, what they are giving us with those two values is um, the value of the cutoff frequency. They're telling us the cutoff frequency is 500 Hz. And the beginning of the stop band is... Um, I'm going to call it FS, is 1.5 kilohertz. So if I am to plot my magnitude response for the um, low-pass filter, Butterworth um, Unity Gain low-pass filter, I will have, since it's Unity Gain, it's going to start at 0 dBs, and uh, by the time I reach 500 hertz, I cannot be lower than 3 dB, so that means 500 hertz is essentially my cutoff frequency, and then they are telling me by the time I reach uh, this point, the 1.5 kilohertz, my attenuation needs to be at least negative 23 dB, or 23 dB of attenuation. And so this is essentially The response that I'm looking for. Now, what is the minimum order uh, Unity Game Butterworth filter that's going to give me this response, these characteristics? And for that, I can either take a look at uh, one of the tables. These things come tabulated, as I mentioned. So, if you look at the handbook, you go to the section on Butterworth filters, you could look at the table and figure that out. But if not, you can use the um, Butterworth filter. Um, response, the expression for it, for a low-pass filter, unity gain, and it will be the magnitude response. We saw that it was 1 divided by square root of 1 plus uh, f over fc to the power of 2n. And if I am to calculate it in dBs, since that's what I'm giving all these values in dBs, that will be equal to dB, 20 times the log base 10 of this quantity. 1 over the square root of 1 plus f over fc to the power of 2 to 2n. So if I am to enter uh, the values that I am given, um, basically I'm saying at the frequency f equals to 1.5 kilohertz, I want my attenuation to be at least 23 dB. So I could just enter that point, that value of f, replacing my f, and then the value of my magnitude of the transfer function should be at least 23 dB. Um, so negative 23 dB basically is equal to 20 times the log base 10 of 1 divided by the square root of 1 plus 1 1.5 kilohertz or 1500 hertz divided by 500 to the power of 2n. And I can essentially solve this equation for n. And it gives me n is equal to 2.4. And so basically it's telling me in order to exactly meet these specifications, n will, n will have to be somewhere between 2 and 3. Now, if I um, approximate on the low side, is if I approximate towards 2, meaning I'm I'm making a filter that is simpler than what I need in order to meet the specification. That's going to be no good. I'm going to be short of the specification. And so um, to meet my specs, what I really need is a filter of order at least equal 3, which is the next available integer. Um, so that will be my, my lowest order Butterworth filter that will meet the specifications. We can uh, run a sort of verification if we wanted by drawing a table and calculating 
the value of my attenuation for uh, different values of frequency, different frequencies. And so, for example, if my frequency in hertz, let's imagine I'm going to calculate it for a frequency of uh, 0 hertz, 50 hertz, 100 hertz, um, 250 hertz, 500 hertz, which is the cutoff frequency. So I'm going to mark that one as important. Um, 700 hertz, 1000 hertz, 1500 hertz, and um, that's also an important point because it's the beginning of my stop band. So I want to make sure that at 500 hertz, um, my attenuation is no greater than 3 dBs, and by 1500 hertz that it is greater than 23 dBs. I'm going to go ahead and calculate my normalized frequency, F over Fc. So this will be basically 0 here, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 500 is exactly Fc, so 500 over Fc is equal to 1, 1.4, 2 and 3. And um, in order to calculate my attenuation in dBs, I basically need to calculate uh, 20 times the log base 10 of 1 divided by the square root of 1 plus f over c to the power of 2 to the n. And so uh, if I am to calculate it for f over fc equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, uh, or even 0.5, I can see that it's going to be uh, something relatively small. It's uh, much smaller than 1, and therefore when I calculate the value of my uh, square root, it's approximately equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1. And so these are going to be very close to 0 dBs. For a value of 500, when it is exactly equal to 1, I can look at the equation, it's 20 times the log base 10 of 1 divided by the square root of 1 plus uh, 1 to the power of 2 times n, m being equal to 3. Remember, this is n is equal to 3, and the equation that I am applying is the equation up here. Uh, so basically, to the power of 8. Uh, which is equal to 1. 1 over the square root of 1 plus 1 is 1 over the square root of 2, um, which 20 times the log base 10 of 1 over the square root of 2 is exactly negative 3 dBs. And then if you perform the calculations for the other values, what I got was uh, approximately equal to negative 9.3 dBs for the first one, negative 18.1 dBs for the second one, and negative 28 dBs for the third one. So you can see that, yes, indeed, it meets the specification because by the time you reach 1500, uh, your attenuation is greater than negative 23 dBs. All right, so this will be how you determine the order of the filter, the minimum order of the filter. Once you have achieved this step, the next step will be to actually perform the design, and that's what we're going to see in the next video.